Australia is facing a period of unprecedented growth. Over the coming decades, Sydney alone will require over half a million new homes for an additional 1.3 million people. It's therefore vital that decision makers adopt a strategic approach to assessing the future impact of developments. Urban growth responsibilities in undertaking the urban uh, transformation of Sydney is fundamentally important to where Sydney goes in the next 50 years. We've got a massive requirement to supply housing and additional homes, but also to make areas much more dense, to develop a whole range of other industries and to attract talent and investment from overseas. To do this, we need to be really, really powerful in our strategic planning approach. We've got a portfolio of massive projects that rounds up to possibly 150 billion Australian dollars worth of building and development. So it's vital to be able to plan strategically. Within that, it's absolutely vital to have a tool that's realistic, accurate and intelligent to enable us to do the planning and to use evidence-based decision making. Through working with organisations like Urban Growth, we saw a clear need for a strategic design tool that goes beyond a green rating system. One that's truly evidence-based and provides information to inform meaningful decisions early in the design and planning phase of a project. So in collaboration with the team at Urban Growth and several government utilities and agencies, we developed what we believe is a globally unique strategic urban design and infrastructure planning tool called Precincts. Precincts is software that models the potential environmental, economic and social performance of residential, commercial and mixed-use developments. Drawing on comprehensive local data sources, it links urban design with environmental metrics to calculate the performance of a development across aspects such as land use, transport, embodied and operational energy, water, portability and costs. It allows users to model the impacts of different scenarios live on screen and compare them to current practice and metropolitan averages. For example, assessing the impact that improved public transport coupled with reduced parking will have on resident car use, household affordability and greenhouse gas emissions. Or assessing the impact of improved building design, renewable energy or co-generation on precinct greenhouse gas emissions, household affordability and peak electricity demand. Precincts can assess and predict the impact of decisions against a wide range of metrics, making it invaluable to all parties involved in the planning and development process, including developers, city managers and utilities. This predictability that Precincts provides has transformed the way urban regeneration projects are conceived and managed in New South Wales, bringing crucial decisions forward by three to five years. It has allowed for earlier identification, validation and procurement of smarter, more efficient design and infrastructure solutions. Precincts has been a game changer for us. It's brought us an evidence base to our strategic planning, which we've not had before. We now have far better insight into what our future goals can be, what we need to achieve them, and it's giving us the opportunity to realise truly sustainable cities that are fit for the 21st century. Precincts has now been adopted by all the major government land authorities, private developers and utilities in Australia and utilised on some of Australia's most significant city shaping projects, representing tens of billions of dollars worth of investment. Projects like this have failed all over the world is where this sort of planning is not done and it's done by chance and hope. Our mantra is hope is not a management tool, Precincts is the management tool for us. It's vital that our cities in Australia continue to compete on a global scale. Precincts is just one example of how decision makers are modernising our planning process to deliver the cities of the future.